Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Skyblock Let's Play video. And this is part 16 of my Let's Play series. So in this video today, I am finally going to be doing one of the most requested things so far in this series. And judging by my hotbar, you probably already have an idea of what that is. And that is the Nether. Yes, that's right. I am actually going to be going to the Nether today. And I think I know the perfect place to place the portal. But before I do that, I want to give you guys a quick overview of what I did off camera. So you may have already noticed that my house looks a lot more complete from the outside. It looks like this on all four sides. And then the inside, I finally finished the walls and roof on the second floor. And I only have one torch up here so far because I ran out. But yes, my house is very close to completion. I also grew some more trees, and yes, a big tree grew in the wrong place. Over here's where that big tree's supposed to go for the treehouse, which, is there? Okay, I was about to say, better be a sapling planted there, but there is, so we're good. And then the barn, I finally finished the walls of the barn. I also finished all the cobblestone walls for the most part. Yeah, per almost all of them. So I'm just waiting for the grass to spread to these two blocks, and then I can finish up the wall there. So it's close only three blocks more here and two blocks more here so is there any blocks beneath these actually now that i think about it there may not be any blocks beneath them oh there is okay well i don't know <laughs> i guess it's just i may just have to afk here for a bit and just wait but we'll see anyways let's go ahead make our way over to the end and this is where the actual nether portal is going to be placed now, I do have a couple of blocks. However, i really, really running low on cobblestone right now, so I may just have to kind of do a makeshift platform that's just long enough to accommodate another portal. That way, when I come back, I can fix it. So I'm going to want to make the portal like this. Then I'm going to place a block here. Then I'm going to place blocks in the end then I'm going to place three on each side and then another block so I'm going to do the same thing over here three block and then two here now to light up the portal I'm going to be using the lava obviously which is the only way that I can do this so I'm going to go ahead and place two blocks behind here and oh okay I'm going to have to go source some cobblestone elsewhere two is all I need I just want to place two on the sides because I don't want the uh bits on the sides to start burning so I just want to make a, t a small enough basin to where the lava can actually be placed oh and then I place the two on the back side okay can I break these two yes I know this may not be the best idea but you know what I'm not gonna be able to use that for a little bit anyway because I want to get more cobblestone so yeah I am gonna place a wood here just as like a support piece then I'm gonna place two or well not two but my only lava bucket and this is where I place okay I yeah, see that's gonna catch on fire honestly I could just break this okay so the portal is lit so I'm gonna go ahead and break this piece of wood grab the lava real quick before I enter and off we go so oh, I wonder what we're gonna find I don't know how the spawns gonna be this is honestly kind of a first, because I don't know if a single person... Well, I know somebody's probably explored the nether in the void world, at least at some point, I would think. But the first ever, like, on-camera documentation of this? Don't quote me on that, because I'm not 100% sure. But let's find out where I'm going to be. Oh, I can go forward. It leads to a giant pit. Okay. I'm at Y75, so I'm not too high up in the air. <laughs> Um, even though it looks like I'm, oh god, it's like, oh, I haven't even been in the nether for 30 seconds and I'm already doing risky stuff. Okay, so I guess the only thing I can really do is I can start getting rid of some of this nether rack here, and I can just use it to bridge over to other areas, and then hopefully I can get to an area to where I can actually get down to the nether floor, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky in this video. Will I find a fortress? I don't know, but... I guess it's possible. I just want to grab at least one stack. Maybe two. My pickaxe may not survive to supply me with two stacks in another rack. Definitely will for one at least, though. And we're already almost there. All right, 64. So, oh, and one. 
I don't know. This may not be the best uh, place to be right now. So let's just get out. Now, if I look at over here, well, it leads to the same thing. I could always pot dig over or uh, oh yeah, I'll go ahead and bridge over there. Yes, I will now do that. Ugh, this is going to be stupidly dangerous, but I don't care. I'm just gonna do it. This is like one of the only ways I can get down from this high up area. So yeah, like I said, I am just going to do it. Ooh, let's eat. I want to keep my hearts as high as I possibly can. Let's get... I need to get that lava bucket out of my hot bar. I don't need to accidentally place it stupidly and then just, you know, end up dying from it. Okay, so I need to check over here on the edge. And it looks like if I mine right around here, not here, uh, right around where all this fire is. Let's go down. Luckily, I can break netherrack pretty quickly with a wooden pickaxe so it's not super inefficient how bad is that drop uh, i don't know that's a little high i wonder if i can like bring myself over a little bit <laughs> now i'm down here again great let's see i might be able to go down a little bit then i can turn left and keep going until i reach out the bottom my goal today is just to, I don't know, explore the nether, really. I mean, I'm not, I, there's no real goal, I guess you would say, in this video. I just want to see what the nether has to offer. And so far, it has absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going this way until I lead out. Oh, wow. Okay, so in order to mark where I was, I can always just watch back at the video, but I'm just going to make a small little tower of oak. Okay, so now I'm on the floor of the nether at Y37. Ugh, do not hit the magma. I just want to explore and see if there's a nether fortress nearby. You know, there probably is in a backwards direction, and I am just completely missing it right now. The game was kind of lagging there for a bit, as you can tell. Definitely do not want a crash to happen, although it's definitely possible. Uh, oh, I just want to explore a little bit of the nether. Now, as far as this nether quartz is concerned, I can always just come back and grab it at any point on camera. My main goal in this video is just to explore. Uh, I feel like a fortress is here, but it's probably in the opposite direction, and I completely missed it. I feel like that's just how it is. I don't think there's one over here. I feel like it's going the other way. It's like whenever I try to find nether fortresses, I always go in the opposite direction that they actually are in, as evident in my 100 days challenge, which that ended up being just extremely, oh my God. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm not going to be dying to a magma cube right now. It could be over there for all I know. It could be over here. I could see like a part of it from here. Which I do not. I could wait for that to load in. And maybe I can get lucky. What is that? Oh, that's glowstone. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything. I mean, yeah, I, I really don't. I mean, there might have been something there. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and go the other way because I might as well. Now that the uh, game just crashed, it put me back kind of towards the start. So I can actually make my way over the other way. At least I hope this is the other way. Sometimes the game, I don't remember those fires being there. So I wonder if this is it. So there is a massive magma cube. Hopefully I can just get rid of its massive size. Oh... What the heck? Oh, please don't throw me into the lava right now. Wow, the chunks are taking forever to load too. So this is just wonderful. This may have to be a case where I have to do this off camera. If I try to, if the chunks start loading again, I'll record, the next video will be more exploration. But I don't want to spend like three videos with me just exploring the nether. Um, because I mean, obviously, you know, in uh, this version, the nether is pretty boring. You know what I just realized? No, this is not the border because... But I wonder if this back here is the border. Really? It does keep going? Because look, I can't... Okay, I can go this way. Whoa, where am I at? Okay. I was getting really scared there for a second. I thought I completely lost my direction. Okay. I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the video off here. At least we got to the nether, but in the next video, hopefully we can find a nether fortress. I'm also going to start gathering some materials and explain the plans and all the subscriber suggestions that you guys gave me about different nether stuff. So anyways, that's going to go ahead and conclude it for this video, and thanks for watching.